uh, BTC whales show accumulation and sell off. Uh, BTC moves back above uh, back above sixty thousand um, <clears> dollars. <throat> uh, the recent surge in Bitcoin, surpassing sixty thousand dollars, has prompted varied responses from different wallets. Considering the actions taken by these wallets, has there been an impact on the number of holders? Uh, data from Santamint showed divergent responses among different categories of Bitcoin whale wallets to the recent increase in BTC price. The chart indicated an addition of more than 187,000 new wallets with more than zero coins. This showed a recent increase in non-zero wallets as more people enter the companies across the market. Military, uh, additionally, wallets holding 100,000 BTCs have accumulated over 78,000 coins in the past few days. So, however, in contrast, another category of whale wallets showed a decline. All holding 1,000 to 10,000 coins reduced their holdings by over 75,000 BTCs. This decline signifies a sell-off of the bustins of that right change. Upon closer examination, it becomes evident that the sell-off coincided with the rise in BTC prices. An examination of the total number of Bitcoin holders indicates a modest increase in the past few days. Santiment's chart showed a notable uptrend, maintaining the figure within the 52 million range. At the time of this writing, uh, the total number of holders was 52.53 million compared to the 52.27 million observed on the 26th of February. The slight increase suggests that despite the prevailing price range, there is a growing number of emerging holders. Additionally, there has been a recent surge in the total number of Bitcoin in profit for existing holders. The chart analysis showed an increase from around 93.7% to over 15 25th between 25th February and 1st of March. This signifies that about 19.4 million BTCs are profitable as of now. And how much are 10,100 BTCs worth today? Uh, at the time of this writing, the Bitcoin relative strength uh, index showed that it was still in a strong bull trend and uh, position high in the overbought zone. Uh, this holds even after experiencing a slight decline of over 2% on the 29th of February, bringing its price down from around 62390 to $60,800. However, at the time of this writing, the price has rebounded to over $61,000 with a marginal increase of less than 1%.